Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I thought it would happen sooner than later, and apparently Brave Browser is getting its own chatbot called Leo. So this is obviously Brave now, taking on the likes of Microsoft Edge's Bing Chat and Google Chrome's Bard. And it's going to be an AI, artificial intelligent assistant, called Leo. Now, at this stage, um, it's still very early days, and it's not available in the stable version as yet. We still have a little bit of time to wait before that happens. But it's going to be an app that's going to be embedded in the actual browser, and it's currently been tested for users who are testing features in the nightly channel for desktop of Brave Browser. And the nightly version of Brave Browser, in case you're unaware, is basically a Brave's equivalent to Edge Canary or Chrome Canary. Now, if we head over to one or two screenshots provided, because obviously this is still um, in its very early stages of development, and there is a bit of work to do still, but apparently it's going to work very similar to ChatGPT. So you'll be able to ask it uh, questions, generate text, and write code, as we can see from the uh, screenshot provided here at the bottom on the right-hand side. And you will also be able to summarize, as an example, your web pages and stuff like that. So it's going to be very similar to Bard and um, the other chatbots like Microsoft Bing. And currently been tested in the nightly version 1.59 or later. And if we head back to the first screenshot, here we can see that it will be available as a sidebar feature in the sidebar. And it will have this little icon shaped like a chat bubble which is co common for these ch uh, chatbots they've a lot a lot of them have got a bubble to identify them as a chatbot so brave uh, is no exception and then something else to take note of um apparently the leo um, assistant is powered by llama 2 which is a large language model llm and when it comes to privacy um brave is saying though that uh, you won't require to um, log in to use the chatbot um, so you don't require a user login or account to use the chatbot and your conversations will be discarded immediately after you've had that conversation and they will not be stored on the servers and there's a lot more in this announcement that Brave has given when it comes to privacy but at the end of the day um, it's not going to gather your personal data when it comes to testing features to improve the actual chatbot in the future and just to put this um, all into perspective, if we head back to the stable version and we click on the sidebar, this is where you'll see the chatbot when it does roll out in the sidebar. And uh, as mentioned, uh, that's called Leo. And Leo's setting to toggle the chatbot on and off will be available in the settings. So you'll be able to toggle this icon on and off. So it won't be a default feature that you can't remove you, you'll be able to toggle um, the chatbot on and off from the sidebar, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. But as mentioned, I um, just wanted to put it out there because I do know some of you do use the Brave web browser for desktop, and we do cover Brave on this channel. And I'm going to keep my eye on this, and obviously as development takes place, I will keep you posted and let you guys know. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.